here and thanks for joining Sugar Sugar Cakes for another fantastic tutorial. Today I'll be making my all time favourite character from the movie Beauty and the Beast. It is the adorable, the so cute, this is Chip. I made him by carving him out of cake and I used a template to do so and that's available for all of you to download for free if you like, it's on my website down below and I've also included a bonus template for a regular shaped teacup if you'd like to use all the skills from today's tutorial you can absolutely do so and I thought since this cute little guy is a teacup we've got to make a tea flavored cake and so I whipped up an Earl Grey tea cake and I filled him with a delicious luscious burnt butter toast butter cream and that recipe as well is linked down below and it's all for you guys. So if you like today's tutorial, remember to hit that like button, leave me a comment and to stay up to date with all the tutorials that I'll be creating, remember to hit that subscribe button. So the first thing we want to do is make the handle of the teacup, this is Chip's nose. I'm rolling out some yellow gum paste here and with my sugar shaper just making a little indent. And you want to bend this and follow the template provided. Nip off the end with a craft knife and you want to smooth out the end with a few presses and rolls. Dip a toothpick into some sugar glue and poke this into both ends of the handle and let this dry overnight. Now I want to laminate the template. I'm just gonna DIY this with some tape. You can do this with a laminator, of course. So you want to laminate the front and the back of the template because we're gonna be using this with a lot of cake and we want to be able to reuse it or wipe it down easily. I'm just gonna cut out both of my templates until I've got all the pieces just like this. Now find a plastic cup that's about the same size as the base of the teacup and you want to mark out the height and cut it out and we don't need the top or the bottom sections just the middle section. Remember to flip this over, place it on a plastic plate and tape this down. Now it's time to fill our mould with some melted chocolate. I'm using white compound, you can also use tempered white cuvature chocolate and I'm going to use a bubble tea straw. And before the chocolate sets, pierce this to form our center dowel. Now onto our cake board, just more melted chocolate and place your structure to set right in the middle. I'm going in with some white chocolate ganache now, just to cement everything in place. I've got a three inch round cake board, which I've drilled a big hole in the center. Just thread it through and fill it now on top with more white chocolate ganache, just to secure our cake in place. I'm starting with a five inch round cake and so just thread this through again and follow this with some simple sugar syrup just to keep your cakes moist. And now with our first layer of frosting, my yummy burnt butter toast butter cream, a nice generous layer and follow this with a six inch round cake. Press this in place and more sugar syrup. After this, we're going to dowel this section of cake. So I'm just using a regular straw, pressing it in. I'm gonna nip off the end, and I'm gonna do this three times, spread evenly around this section of the cake. And this is important just so our entire cake is able to be structurally sound and hold itself up, because it's a fairly tall cake that we're working with. Now after this, I'm gonna go in with more ganache now, because we're gonna place a cake board on top. So I've got here now a five inch round cake board with a hole drilled out. Just thread that through and follow this with more ganache. Now I'm starting here with an eight inch round cake, following on with some sugar syrup again, more yummy frosting, another layer of cake, eight inch as well, syrup, yummy frosting, and finish with a smaller six inch or seven inch round cake on top. Now it's time to start carving the cake and it's very important to reference the template when doing this. So hold it towards the front and carve out the shape, the front side shape of the cake. Just draw out the entire silhouette of the cake and now you can start carving. I'm using a small serrated knife, quite a sharp one. And what you wanna do is just shave off pieces of cake. Remember not to take out huge hunks of cake. 
So it's better to just use small shaving motions. And I start by taking out all the side sections first before tackling the front and the back sections of the cake. So just do this gradually, take your time, reference the template constantly, and you should end up with something that resembles the silhouette of your template. You can just give it a brush down to remove all the excess crumbs. And now we're going to ganache the cake. And I always start with the top for this one. So white chocolate ganache, smooth it with a spatula all the way around the top, just following the shape that you've already carved out. And just apply a nice thick layer so that you can scrape it now with the flexi scraper. You can purchase these online or you can even cut out a piece of plastic, thick plastic usually works best. And just with smooth, confident motions, just scrape, scrape, scrape. Now moving on to the sides, just apply a nice thick covering of ganache all around the sides of your cake. Remember to cover every little piece of cake you can see before we now use our flexi scraper to scrape it down. So bend your scraper a little bit and using your turntable, just scrape away whilst turning. I like to start at the bottom moving on to the middle and I like to work my way all the way to the top of the cake so I've got a nice smooth surface. To clean up the roughly edges around the top I heat up my peri knife in some hot water and I slowly cut away any excess scraggly ganache that's on the top section of the cake. Do this all the way around and you'll end up with a very nice sharp edge all around the rim. Now just to create that beveled edge around the bottom of the teacup, I'm just using some semi-firm ganache, rolling it into sausages and technically just smushing it around the base of the teacup. And I'm going to use my flexi scraper and scrape it so I've got a nice smooth beveled edge at the bottom. And there you have it, it's all done now, ready for decorating. Now it's time to carve out some of the details in the facial expression. So using the template, I'm going to carve out the shape of the mouth with a paring knife. Just remove the template now and scrape out the mouth because we want this to deboss, I guess, into the inside of the face. So just scrape this out using the knife. And I'm going to use my sugar shaper just to smooth out the surface of the mouth. Now using the template again, we're going to draw out the outline of each eye. So I'm going to use my peri knife and just trace the outline of the big eye and the little eye. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a raised eyebrow effect. So I'm going to roll out some fondant into sausages with the ends just sort of nipped off and just press that right onto the ganache. So one following the outline of the big eye and the little eye. And now we're going to give him a nice raised cheek. So I've got here a ball of fondant that I've just pressed down and flattened out. And we're going to stretch out the ends so that it flushes into his right cheek. And now we're going to add a little small sausage to give him some definition on his lower lip. And that's all of the details underneath the fondant. Now we're going to start covering this in fondant. I've got here some cream coloured fondant rolled out to about 3mm thick, sprayed on some water beforehand to stick it on. And using your craft knife, just trim off the edges and use your finger to smooth out that rough sides. So you want to cut all of the excess fondant all the way round chip so that's the top completely covered and completely finished. Now to cover him in fondant around the sides, I've rolled out a big rectangle of white fondant and I'm just rolling this around a small rolling pin and I'm going to use the wrap method. So starting at the back of chip, I'm going to confidently just roll, roll, roll the fondant all the way around, wrapping the entire side surface of our teacup. And I'm going to start at the back so that our seam is hidden at the back. And I should mention that before this, I also sprayed him with a thin layer of water with a spray bottle, just so that my fondant adheres nicely. We want to smooth out all of the edges and try and make sure that that fondant's adhered securely and nicely. And now to trim off the excess, just a nice long motion with our craft knife should do it. And we want to bring that seams together with our fingers and try and hide as much of that seam as possible. 
Now we're going to bring in the bottom axis and we don't want to have big creases, so just do this gently. Now we're going to use some Crisco and rub this onto our craft knife or X-Acto knife and what this is going to do, it's going to help our knife to just glide smoothly and effortlessly all the way around the rim because we want a really nice smooth clean cut around the rim without any stretching or pulling. So this is a little tip that I usually do to do this. And remember now we're going to cut off the excess around the bottom of our teacup as well. And once you've cut this away, we just want to clean up any frayed edges and you can do this with your fingers. Now we're going to bring out some of that definitions in the facial expression. So just using your fingers, your best tools, just push in the eye sockets and draw out the cheekbone as well. You can use your tools like sugar shapers to deepen the mouth. And also I'm using a Dresden tool to bring out that dimple or that crease in his smile. Now use your template and cut out some eye shape and brush on some water now into the eye sockets. And we've got the eye pieces here already prepared using the templates. This is just white fondant cut out using the templates. And now we're going to add on some blue and then some black and that's going to make our eyes pop. And we're going to finish off the eyes with some thin black sausages of fondant. So one for the left, one for the right, and you'll notice that it's sort of like a really long teardrop shape. And you want nice little sausages as well for the eyebrows. Using the template, just cut out some red fondant and stick that with water as well. And for the tongue, a nice little pink piece of fondant in the shape of a bean. And use a Dresden tool and just draw out that little line in the middle of the tongue. Now wrap the bottom rim, bottom section rather, of the teacup with purple fondant with a wrap method and just cut off the excess. I've used a petal cutter just to cut out some blue and pink petals. And I'm just laying this on with some sugar glue here. And I'm using my Dresden tool just to draw out some lines here so that it matches the character of Chip like in the movie. Now we're going to finish off the rim and I've just got here a very long sausage of yellow and I've just popped some sugar glue on the rim, laid on the sausage and nipped off the ends. And again for the bottom of the teacup we're also going to finish off with a long thin fondant sausage and one last long thin fondant sausage all adhered with sugar glue. Remember to cut out the chip that makes chip chip. Press in our prepared handle, it should be very solid now and it should just slide right in with a little bit of sugar glue and the ends. Now we're going to finish off with some luster dust just to give him lots of character and a bit of age because Chip's not a new teacup. So I've got here some blue petal dust that I'm dusting on with a dry brush. I've also got some charcoal grey and more blue around the underside of the rim. And I've also got some pink around the base and around the cheek. And I've brought in a lot more charcoal around the dimples and the crease as you can see. Finish off with some pearl around the petals and in between some more charcoal. And this should really make Chip come to life. The last step is to make Chip gold. And I've got here some edible luster dust mixed with rose spirit. And I'm just going to paint all of the yellow bits gold. And this is really going to make Chip sparkle and shine. Once you've done that, that's your beautiful, adorable chip cake completed. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy making and eating him. The recipe is on the website. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time. To stay up to date with all new Sugar Sugar Cakes videos and tutorials, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're not missing out on any new content.